Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today I'm here to do another round of my Con Marie with me. I'm going through my bookshelves and I'm decluttering in a major way. If it doesn't spark joy, read or unread, it's gotta go. And I'm feeling really nervous about this one. Let's get into it. We're moving into my sci-fi fantasy bookshelf. Um, I have 30 books that I need to get through. The rule is I have rules for myself because otherwise I would just keep everything. I've got to dwindle it down to 20 books. Now I give myself a little wiggle room, tiny, tiny wiggle room. Um, I can put two of the books on my on this shelf onto a limbo shelf and if I go above 20 um, then I have to go to my little limbo shelf and take one off or however many I go over I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else it makes sense to me so if I end up with like 22 books that I must have on my shelves I have to go over to my limbo shelf and take two off it's awful but I did really well the last time I did a thriller um, con Marie with me and I I got rid of like many more books than I needed to so let's let's just dive in god this is hard oh and I'm starting with a book that I've read and loved was uh, never let me go by Kazuo Ishiguro this was amazing this is about a, a school where you know there's something wrong, there's something weird happening at the school, and um, you soon learn what that is. I can't give anything away, but you can fe feel that there's something off. It's it's sci-fi, and I loved it, and it's absolutely saying another book I read and loved, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, uh, about a group of uh, voyagers who punch holes in the universe. This is sci-fi again they live in space punch holes for the universe to make shortcuts for other people um and it is about their adventure this is very character driven and i loved it um and i love the follow-up to uh the long way to a small angry planet as well so this is staying oh we've got a lot of books that i've read um and loved you cannot take any of the philip pullman golden compass dark material stuff away from me um, this is the Amber Spyglass. This is the Subtle Knife. I know I have the Golden Compass in here as well somewhere. Next is um, Fatherland by Robert Harris. This is a um, reimagining of what would have happened to the world if Germany won World War II. Uh, it does sound very, very fascinating to me. It's just slightly terrifying and I just recently picked it up and I I have a feeling that it's going to intrigue me, so I want to keep this. Uh, next up is Vox. This is a book that was actually sent to me um, unsolicited. So I keep my arcs of books that I've requested up above, and I try to prioritize those. Uh, but sometimes publishers send me books, and um, this is interesting. It's about a dystopian world where women are not allowed to speak. They have an allotted amount of words they can speak a day, and I think it's a hundred. Um, and it's about that experience. It does sound fascinating. I'm not really driven to read it at this moment, so I'm going to put this in my limbo pile and come back to it. Next is Mr. Fox by Helen Oyeyemi. I am unsure about this. This is a beautiful book, like it might be one of the most beautiful books I have on my shelves. Um, but it's kind of fairy tale oriented and I don't adore fairy tales. Um, that said, I'm super excited to read some Helen Oyeyemi, um, so I don't know. Um, this is about uh, the celebrated writer Mr. Fox who can't stop himself from killing off the heroines of his novels. And then Mary, a muse, comes into his life. I just don't know. So I'm going to put this also on my limbo shelf. Six Wigs is absolutely staying. This sounds like so much fun. This is about a spaceship that 
really terrible things happen on. So the whole idea of it is that you keep your memory, but your memory is put into clones, so you never really die. Anyway, that process takes time and they have to fall asleep, uh, but we follow Maria, who has done this before, um, but she wakes up and there's blood all over the place. Usually the first thing that she remembers when she wakes up is how she died. She doesn't have any memory. It just sounds like a lot of fun. I remember Julie from A Girl in a Book saying she liked this and I it sparks major joy for me. So this is staying. Next is The Book of Strange Things by Mike Michelle Faber. And this sounds very strange about a couple. Um, the man in this couple goes um, into a spaceship. He's kind of preaching the word of God, I believe, to different planets, which is interesting. But back home, Earth is dying and he's hearing from his wife about Earth dying. And I don't know if he gets to her or not in time. Uh, it sounds really interesting to me. I'm very curious about this one, so I'm going to keep this. Now, Red Rising has had a lot of buzz. I want to keep this. This is about a man who is enslaved, um, and he will stop at nothing to, like, seek revenge upon his enemies. I think this takes place on Mars. I want to keep it. I want to read this one because it's got a lot of hype, so I'm keeping that one. The Humans by Matt Haig is supposed to be quite funny about an alien who comes to the world and he he takes on the human body of this like math professor and he just like analyzes humans and finds them ridiculous. And I think I want to put this in my um my limbo pile because I'm just not sure that I'm going to love it. I, yeah, I don't know. Scythe is a book I am definitely keeping. I just got it. It's YA. I'm taking a real gamble on this one, but it is about kids uh, who become scythes. It's a world in which nobody dies, but the catch is that people are randomly selected or they're selected and there are scythes who go in and kill them. So I really want to read this, so I'm I'm keeping it. Okay, The Bees by Laleen Paul. This is a book I'm going to get rid of. There's just nothing about it that I've been super excited for. Barry even tried to get me to read this last year when he picked my TBR, and uh, it didn't work, and I didn't want to read it. Uh, but it's about bees, and you follow you follow a bee, a worker bee. Anyway, it's going. I will have to keep The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by Jen Campbell. This is a collection of short stories I really enjoyed. It's, it sometimes has sci-fi elements, sometimes fantasy elements, so I really enjoyed this and it's beautiful. I'm keeping it. Next is The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. This is really interesting to me because it is very similar or makes me think of A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Um, but this follows humans. We follow a group of people who uh, are told that they need to go to a newly discovered planet to uh, make contact with totally unknown species. And they choose this like motley group of people to go and do this. And it sounds interesting. Um, so I'd like to keep it. I'm also, no, I really do want to read this at some point. I'm keeping it. I was going to say I'm not sure, but I really do want to read that. Next up is The Handmaid's Tale. You're never going to let me part from this. No, no, no. Stay. The Martian by Andy Weir. I really enjoyed that staying. A lot of the books that are staying are books I've read. Oopsie doodle. Next is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I loved this. I really want to keep this on my shelves. This sparks joy. Next is Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. And this is about a bookstore that is super curious. Uh, there are many people who come to visit the bookstore that are very secretive and strange. And I think there's something weird about the bookstore. Now, I am not sure about this one at all. I think I'm going to 
put it in my, I keep putting things in the limbo pile and then I have to go through, but I think that's what I'm doing. Sabriel is going, it's by Garth Nix. It's really tattered and worn and I just don't like the look of it. If I ever wanna read it, maybe I'll get it from the library. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is YA um, about people who can hear one another's thoughts. I'm just not really drawn to this, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, okay, and then The Lord of the Rings, I'm absolutely keeping because hello. Similarly, I'm keeping The Hobbit. The Golden Compass, here it is. Totally different edition, sadly, but until I can find that other pretty edition for The Golden Compass, I'm gonna keep that. Next is Good Morning Midnight. I think I'm gonna let this one go. It's about different people who, who witness the end of the world together, and I just am not drawn to it, so I'm gonna let that go. Okay, next is Exit West. This is supposed to be very good, um, but there's something about it that I've never been drawn to, and yet it's supposed to be really good. What do I do? I put it in a limbo pile, and then I have to choose. Oh, God. When She Woke, um, this is about a girl who wakes up um, and she's in prison, I think, because she murdered someone. And people who have different categories of like the different crimes that they've committed, they are like clad or their skin turns different colors. Anyway, she is red now. I just, I've had this on my shelves for a while and I've never, I've never tried to pick it up. I've never really wanted to pick it up. So I think I'm gonna let this one go. Hidden Sea, I have to keep for Christmas because Christmas. This is based on the Nutcracker, which is my favorite Christmassy tale. I love going to see the ballet and anyway, I have to keep this. Okay, next up is The Heart Goes Last by Margaret Atwood. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I really love Margaret Atwood, um, but I'm not super interested in the storyline. It is about couples who live in the same house, but they never see each other. So you you spend some time, I think, working away from home, um, and one couple moves in while you're away doing that, and then you move back and they go to work somewhere. And it sounds like there's a love interest between two of the people who have never met. Uh, it's cool, but I'm just, I've never been drawn to reading it, so I'm gonna let it go. Last is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I think I'm gonna throw this on the limbo pile and see where it lands because I am not sure. It's fantasy about magicians, but it's very long. And I'm not sure this is from me in the end, so we shall see. Okay, so good news. The pile of keeping is 18, and I can bring that up to 20. So I'm gonna go through the limbo pile and put two over there. I think the first one I'm gonna put back onto just my normal sci-fi fantasy shelf is Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. I think because it's about books and there's a bit of a mystery element to it, I think I might really like this. So I'm gonna keep that. And I think the other one that I want to keep is The Humans. It's supposed to be really funny. And Emily Fox talks about this a lot and how much she loved it. So I'd like to keep this one too. And then now I have to put two on my limbo shelf and get rid of two. So I'm working with Mr. Fox, Vox, Exit West, and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Ugh. Okay, this is really sad, but I'm going to get rid of Mr. Fox. It is such a gorgeous cover, uh, but I've had this literally for years, years, and I've never picked it up or had the inkling to pick it up, so I think it should just go. I think I'm going to actually, strangely, keep Vox on my um, limbo shelf. Uh, this has Handmaid's Tale vibes. And I like that, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, I think I've decided to get rid of Exit West. It kind of hurts my heart because this is about refugees, um, but there's not time travel, but like opening doors to other countries, and I know it's symbolic and everything, but 
it just doesn't blow me away so I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to keep on my limbo shelf Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell I just don't know if I'll ever pick up such a, such a chunker but um it 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 reads in this lovely way so I'm gonna keep that on my limbo shelves and yeah here we go that was pretty good that was actually quite hard but I hope that you're enjoying this little series of mine as I kind of try to really declutter my shelves I got rid of like eight or nine books I unhauled them two for my limbo shelf I'm feeling happy I hope you're doing well and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.